38. I haven't slept in three days. I just ate six bugs in alphabetical order, starting with Carabus Aronitans and ending with a dessert of Tetrix Antalata. The information that I've uncovered from my automated deciphering has me closing in on the location of this event. An event I believe to be the opening of the vault. Echo Recorder and I are not together anymore. But I wish him the best, and we remain friends, so that I can keep recording these messages. He agreed, because we need to complete what we set out to do, and document the intensive search for the mythic vault. It's not a myth. It's real. <laughs> assignment. I never come to Pandora. Dahl has asked me to leave. The transmission said it's time to go. Everyone has left, except the criminals who they've let loose. They won't be my friends. So I had decided to return to leave as Dahl has ordered, but then I found something. I think it is the key to the vault. It proves the vault is real, and that it's here on Pandora and that it can be mine. I also learned that by my calculations, we are near the 200th anniversary of the last vault opening. Within half a year, approximately. If I leave now, I will never make it back in time. I will stay. Maybe one of the convicts will be my friend. Birthday. I've been flown for an incalculable amount of time. A convict accidentally crossed over into my encampment this morning, and I allowed him to look about before I shot him in the back several times. I was immediately filled with regret upon doing this, because the human contact, no matter how awkward, would have been nice. I've decided his name was Leslie, and he had a troubled childhood where people would make fun of him for having a girl's name. And the torment eventually led Leslie to a life of crime and torture. There was a tattoo on his bum that looked not unlike the name Patricia. Might have imagined. The experience compelled me to move the vault key fragment I found so that it can be safe. It's extremely important, so I've given it to the man known as Crazy Earl. He's not crazy. He doesn't like people. The vault key will be safe with him. I also gave him my underwear. I seem to be unable to leave camp anymore. 
I've collected all of the information I need to be able to find the vault. I'm overcome with terror and instantaneous paralyzation upon any attempt to leave my confines. I believe I have some kind of psychosis. Whatever it is, I'm a prisoner of my own jail, and I will not be able to find anything without help from an outside party. I will put out feelers to see if I can get someone on this rock to grant me assistance. Perhaps I can send an off-world message to attract some vault hunters. Some company would be lovely. the camp today. I don't know how I got outside, but I seem to have overcome my inability to leave. This will be my last recording before I scatter the echo recordings as far as I can. My echo recorder has clearly gone crazy, and if I'm not careful, I too might go insane. I will come back and resume my research when I have rid myself of this two-timing recorder. This is Patricia Tannis, signing out.
nurse was explaining something to me, but I wasn't really listening to her droning British warbling. I did catch that you have gathered another of my vault key fragments. Whatever else you're doing is unimportant, and I don't want to wait, so bring it by immediately. <laughs> 